when I, for example, listen to somebody like Tchaikovsky, whose music is, for me, one of the best, or some choral works by J.S. Bach, for example, Vaina Sonatorium, something like that makes me cry. I love distortion guitar, I love overdrive guitar, I love the sound, I love it to be in my music. And I love electronic music as well, because it's, a, it's modern. It's the, the music, music, the soul of the music, it's like doing, Five having sex. Connection. And I'm, I was born in Iran, in a city near Tehran called Kazvi. There are many limitations here for musicians, and especially classical music, because it's considered Western music, and that's what's... It's not really what authorities like. So is it possible for you to study classical music then? Yes, it's possible, but... Uh, within a very narrow margins. Uh, 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 can you explain a little bit how you uh, came to classical music? Mm. Well, mm, first by listening to a recording of Beethoven's Fifth and Sixth Symphony. I was captured by its beauty and I liked it. So me and my cousin decided to play the violin after that. Is it okay to do Mozart, Beethoven? Uh... Oh yeah, uh, there is no problem, no limitations in this way. I mean, limitations are like, for example, women do not have the right to sing alone, something like that. Ah, okay. It's not just, for example, you ha don't have to play Bach because. <laughs> and there are also some restrictions on performing choral works that are related somehow to Christianity, because they will say, "Oh, you're." turning into Christians from Muslim, something like that. Okay. But in general, it's not that difficult as you may think at first. I just meant there are some limitations like women not being allowed to sing or some women who have to wear scarves, something like that. Sure. Generally, people like pop music. And pop music is divided into two categories here. One is one that is illegal, considered illegal by the government, and it's, much of it is performed in the USA. USA. And the rappers, you mean? Is that the rap music you're talking about? Uh, not just rap. There are all kinds of music. I'm just at the moment. I'm just talking about pop music. They call it Los Angeles music here, <laughs> because mainly the performers are residing in Los Angeles. And there's also an Iranian pop music, which is uh, this government considers good. There is not really much difference between them. The only thing is that singers that are here live in Iran, the others don't live in Iran. That's the difference for me. Because what we hear as a musician is just the same. Maybe the lyrics are a little bit different. For example, in some lyrics they say, oh, I love you. And if they say in the USA, they say, oh, that he, he meant his girlfriend. But if they say it in Iran, they say, oh, he means God, so there's no problem. Something like that. Young generations are more attracted to pop, rap, rock, metal music, all these. And, but 
there are still many young people who come to learn traditional instruments and singing and also appreciate that music. But in the field of classical music, it's really the most limited area because there are very few people who really like it and study it seriously. There are very few universities and conservatories in our country. Uh, so are you sort of a classical rebel? Sorry? Are you a classical rebel? <laughs> so what do you mean by a classical rebel? Well, so you're, uh, it's, it's like with us, you can say pop music sometimes is the rebellious kind of music, right? And the classical because music is here more like the underground music. Not really, because uh, it's not banned by the government. Metal, rap and rock music, these are underground music here, because uh, for some reasons they consider this satanic music actually. The government calls this satanic music because they, I don't know, what do they really think about these kinds of music, but about classical music, because most of them think that classical music is uh, all the time without any words, they consider it music without danger, <laughs> because to them it's the words which bring some problems, or some very dance music come bring danger to them. Right. But music which does not have words or is not danceable is for them good, just neutral. They just allow it. Okay. It's not really the quality of sadness which makes me cry, you know. When I, for example, listen to somebody like Tchaikovsky, whose music is, for me, one of the best, or some choral works by J.S. Bach, for example, Weihnachts Oratorium, something like that makes me cry sometimes, and also makes my heart just feel as if I do not belong to this world. Thank you.